in this training video, I'll demonstrate the procedure to create a floor lamp. I have divided this entire training video into two parts. Once you complete this entire tutorial video, you'll be familiar with certain key concepts in AutoCAD 3D modeling like RevSurf to create revolved surfaces, Rotate 3D to rotate an object in space, Path Extrusion to extrude and profile along a spline path, Sketching to sketch a polyline profile in 3D space, Application of viewports and the revolve command which will let you create a revolved solid. Now let's get started. This floor lamp essentially has three parts. We have the fabric on top. Then we have a framework which actually holds this fabric. Then the central metallic support. This is how it will appear once you make uh, this floor lamp using AutoCAD 3D. It will have all the elements and the degree of detailing which you have seen before. I'll just switch over the view and let's see how this will appear in isometric. Okay, you can see the metallic central base and uh, the fabric along with the framework. There's another drawing file over here in which I have incorporated all the necessary dimensions which is required to construct uh, this floor lamp in 3D. I have provided this drawing file along with the video description of this video. You can download this file and you can use it as a reference while you create this floor lamp. Now I have opened a new drawing file in which I have created three layers. I have a, a fabric layer in which I will be keeping the fabric object, then uh, the framework layer and the support layer. Now let me go back to the 2D drawing and get the dimensions from there. I have 22 over here, then 45 at a distance of 32 and this height is 175 and there is a bottom line of 34. So I will set my limits first. I will go to limits. At the lower left, I will give 00, 0 and at the upper right, I will give say 200, 200 and I will give a zoom all. Now the limit is properly set. Next we have to set the units to centimeters. It can be done by giving a units command or you can go to application menu and you go to drawing utilities section and select units from here and you can set the units to centimeters if it is not set to centimeters and decimal position you can keep it at 2 that's perfectly ok and I'll just give ok now the unit is set to centimeters I'll start with the line over here I'll pick my first point and I type the distance 22 so I have got that distance now I'll draw another line from the mid at a distance of 175 because that is a height of the floor lamp. Then I have to draw another line at a distance of say 34. Okay. Then I'll give move command and I'll select this as a base point and uh, I'll select a bottom point. This is a second point. Now it's properly located on the bottom. Then I have to locate another point over here at, at a distance of 32. Okay, and the length of that line is 45 units. So I'll draw a line here at a distance of 45 centimeter. Then I'll give move command. Okay, and then I'll keep this as a base point. And when I'm asked to give the second point, I can use the from point option of the object snapping menu. So just shift right click to get this menu. Okay, then you select the from point option from here. When I'm asked to give the from point, it is nothing but the base point. I'll select this as a base point or the reference point. From the reference point, I want to locate a point at a distance of 32 units. So it will ask you for the offset here. So you simply type the distance as 32. So I could locate a point over here. Now let's create the fabric part or the floor lamp. So I'll go to layer palette and I'll keep uh, the fabric layer as a current layer. Now I'll go to polyline and I'll trace the profile that is to be revolved using a polyline. So I'll start from this endpoint, then I'll click here, okay, 
then I'll go to arc option then I'll select the second point you can use the second point option in the polyline command so I type the letter S for the second point and I'll select this as a second point using the second point option you can guide a polyline arc through a user defined point to get a desired shape now I've got the shape then I'll select this as the end point of the polyline I can just give an enter to go out of this polyline command now if you want you can further fine-tune the shape of this polyline using grip editing if you want you can just drag it like this a bit in the side okay to refine the shape now I am going to apply the RevServe command on this polyline profile as you know RevServe will give you a revolved surface so I'm going to revolve this polyline profile about this vertical axis to get a surface but before I revolve it I should give the values of two variables one is called surf tab 1 which controls the number of faces generated in the horizontal direction then we have surf tab 2 and that variable controls the number of faces generated in the vertical direction so I'll go to surf tab 1 and I'll give the value 6 okay that is a default value you don't have to change it then surf tab 2 then I'll give the value 30 for the surf tab 2 then I'll give the command rev surf so it'll ask you to select the object to revolve I've selected it now it'll ask you to select the axis about which it is to be revolved I'll select this axis now it'll ask you for the start angle that is 0 and then the angle to revolve that is full 360 I want to revolve just give an enter so here you are you have got the surface let's switch over to 3d to see this object in three dimension so I'll click on this hotspot of the view cube to get a southwest isometric view so I'll click on that okay now you can see the surface model which you have made and it inside is hollow okay just go for a realistic shading okay you can just turn off the grid by pressing the control G and you can see the speciality of this model it's inside is hollow it has got just a surface now the problem is it's in the lying down position you have to adjust its orientation so we have to rotate this object about an axis in three dimension so the command is rotate 3d so I'll give rotate 3d then I'm asked to select the objects I'll select the entire object then I'm asked to specify the axis using a variety of options in this I'll select two point option to define the axis so I actually want to rotate this object about this axis so I'll select this as a first point on the axis and this as a second point on the axis now it'll ask you for angle of rotation so I'll give 90 degree as the angle of rotation now it got rotated and the orientation is adjusted next we will create the framework which actually holds the fabric material as well as the central metallic support we will do that in the next part of this video so i'll see you in creating the floor lamp part 2